This lighting is not the best. I'm literally using the like under the microwave light because that's what we're doing. Hello. All right, so today I'm going- Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding right now. It's creepy. Today I'm going to be trying to make a peach simple syrup. I already have everything done. Okay, I'm taking the recipe from Minimalist Baker. She got like the syrup recipe from someone else. It's a cup of organic cane sugar, a cup of water, and two ripe peaches. Oh, it says thinly sliced. Well, I did like little chunks, so hopefully that's okay. I have my cup of water with sugar. I just put in the same thing because why not? I'm just gonna dump it in here. Mmm, sugar. And then I have two sliced peaches right here. And I cubed them, I didn't read that she said thinly sliced. I don't think it matters as long as you have two peaches and that they're not whole. I really hope that this goes well. Okay, that's stuff not gonna work. This is what we're looking like. It says to bring sugar, water, and peaches to a boil in a saucepan, then lower the heat. I'm going to make sure this all mixed together. And then I'm gonna bring this to a boil. I'm gonna bring this to a nice boil and then I guess I'll be back because this will probably take forever because a watch pop never boils. Okay, so now that I have, I crushed them right whenever it started boiling, like it said, and then I've been simmering this for 25 minutes. It didn't say to, but I stirred it every five minutes just because I was terrified that the sugar's gonna burn. Can't be having that. No, no, no. I kind of let it go a little more than 25 minutes. It's probably a little closer to 30. I don't think that's gonna make much of a difference. I have to strain this and I just realized earlier I literally said I don't have a mesh strainer and those holes in the other one are too big. So I think I'm just gonna try and strain it through these little holes in this but I still feel like it might be a little big and then I'm just gonna put it right back into here. But I think with the rest of the peaches I'm definitely not just throwing them away. I think I'm gonna blend them into like a puree and then I can have like a puree for my matcha when I put this in it. Or maybe I can use like some of my syrup and also use like some of the puree so it's not like I really don't have much syrup. There are some chunks in the syrup, but I don't think that's gonna matter. Get all this good peach stuff left. So there's the syrup. So I just blended those peaches up and it's definitely like baby food. It's like applesauce, but peach sauce. Maybe I should like add a little bit of water to it so that it'll be a little runnier. But it's very sweet because it has that sweetness from the peaches and all that sugar. It's definitely a lot liquidier. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But this is literally like, oh, I literally almost dumped that everywhere. This is just really fascinating. I really want to make another matcha just to use that. But I feel like that wouldn't be good. I definitely don't need another matcha at 4.46. Not a second one. You know what would also be good? Is if I froze this, it'd be like, little sorbet that'd be good but i'd rather try the matcha first this is very sweet i'll be back tomorrow to try like the peach puree matcha just because that's already obviously like very sweet it doesn't need a set if you're making fruit syrups don't be wasted in the pulp that comes out of it i'm aware i've worn the sweatshirt a lot plus this doesn't match the shirt i don't really care it's just because it's cold in this house okay so at this angle it's not cute it's like the only place with okay lighting and not showing anything in the house I'm going to make my matcha. I had a long call with my mom this morning. It was very nice because I love being away from home and being independent. But I also love my mom. But it's a good practice run for college. But I've got my classes figured out. I took a dual enrollment class my senior year. So I got my English credit for college. And then I took an AP stats class. And I got a three on the exam. Mostly because it was open note, open book, open everything. And I got to watch actually actual good stats teachers during quarantine. I got a three, which means I can get my stats credit. So I'm very excited because now I got out of math and English my freshman year of college. Now I get to actually take a Spanish class. I wasn't going to be able to because I wasn't enough room in my schedule. And I, as a freshman, you don't really get to choose your schedule. They kind of just make it for you. And then like you can switch things around if you want. There was one spot left in the Spanish class. And I'm so excited. This is how I've been making my matcha. I just kind of throw about that much water and then I warm it up. How I have been making it as in how I've made it for the past one time. <laughs> I just feel like my matcha was kind of having like a bit of a grainy after taste a little bit. I experimented with blending it with warmer water first. I would say that it pretty much worked. And then that means you have to use less milk, so you're wasting less milk. I just fill it to about like, I do about an inch. 
of water. That's what I did yesterday, at least once again. This isn't like a regular thing. And then I get my matcha, and I screw on the lid, obviously. I kind of shake this first, just to like get everything. Honestly, you could probably just shake it and it'd be fine. I have a blender here anyway, and I'm gonna use it, so I might as well. And it's very loud, so I don't know how I'm gonna do this in college. And then I like have a line right here to where, that's where the cup measurement is. So I just put up to there, and I have to use less milk because I used the water. And then I get honey, and I blend it with some honey. Once I think it's blended enough, I blend it more because I don't want any chunks or any tang. And it looks like this. It's all nice and foamy on the top. Here is the like peach puree. I'm not going to use the peach syrup yet because I want it to be like fully set. I don't know if I want to put this at the bottom of my cup. I feel like I need to do it in a clear glass so you can see it. And I guess we're going to be using a wine glass again. Or if I should just try a little bit first because I don't want to not like it, you know? Maybe I'll take just like a little spoon of it like that. It literally looks like baby food. And then take a little splash of matcha and then kind of mix it around in there it's very subtle not a big fan of the clumps so i could blend that with that for a picture i'd really like to put that at the bottom so just kind of swirl that at the bottom and then we're gonna pour this in here it's probably not even gonna end up staying oh <gasps> it does so then i'm gonna mix it and pour it back in here oh i wasn't supposed to add honey Okay, that's how I would normally make it, but I definitely wasn't gonna add honey because this is already so sweet. It's honestly probably not gonna make a difference, so it's fine, but next time I won't do that. Now I'm gonna blend it, and more time just to kind of blend the peach together with the matcha. I feel like I could do another scoop of peach. Like, it's not really coming through. Oh yeah, it looks kind of thick. This is not like water, this is like thick. Then we pour it in. What I do, I've never seen anyone else do. I put more water in here to about that much, just whatever I'm feeling. And then I just shake this up because I don't like wasting matcha. And then this is basically clean for you. You just pour it right on top and it makes no difference. There you go. You got a cup of peach ma- I'm barely holding this by thread. Let's try her. Cheers. It's a very, very subtle peach taste, but it does make the matcha taste different. Peach matcha, y'all. It tastes really good, but it's not very peachy. So, yeah. For the 18th time, it doesn't even taste like peach. It just tastes like so decadent. Could also be because uh, there's a lot of sugar in it. Let's go to college algebra. Web drop. Oh, submit changes. Right there. Not doing anything. Oh, I did it! Yay! High five, y'all. <gasps> I'm so excited. Now I have at least one morning-ish class. Oh, I'm so excited. I need someone to talk to about this. Monday, I have Spanish chemistry, chemistry lab, history. I have history. Well, y'all, it has been a wild ride since I talked to you last. Literally, the last time I filmed was um, about like 10 hours ago. Long story short, basically, my camera wouldn't record. After I finished that last clip that you were just watching, it literally would not. I literally look so bad right now, but whatever. I'm so thankful I literally don't have to buy a new camera. I feel like I'm stupid for not knowing this, but my camera would not record, but it would take pictures. So I basically had done everything. I'd turn it off. I had cleared my memory card off. I had charged my battery. I reset the camera. Like everything everything and then i finally was like oh well i'll just call them so i talked to this lady and she was really nice but and she didn't really have any answers for me either because she literally told me the things that i had already done and i was like yeah i already did that i already did that she like told me how to go through with like their repair process and that basically it would take like two to three weeks and like i'm moving into college in a few weeks i finally have motivation to film and of course that'd be when my camera would be a goner <laughs> so i fill out all this stuff for the repair it literally says it's gonna be $300, which I guess makes sense because it's been two years, so my year warranty is up. They can't just do it for free, but like, she didn't say that. I was like, so is the shipping gonna be free? Cause I literally just thought that like, it was gonna be free 
it was said $300. I was like, no. So I just called back and literally waited on the phone for 10 minutes on hold. And then this old guy picks up. I like started crying because I was already crying before because I was just thinking of how much I wasn't going to be able to document. And then he was like, okay, well, let's try this. Like you could tell he was probably like, why is this chick crying? Because I was like, um, is it normal for a repair to be $300? Is a camera supposed to die after two years? I was like, I'm not trying to be that customer that's basically trying to get something free, but like, are you kidding? Me. And he was like, how about you just try this for me? And he said, go to program and then to format your memory card. And he was like, go ahead and get everything off your memory card. And I was like, oh, I already have everything off. I took everything off whenever I thought it was full. Cool. And so he's like, okay, so let's go ahead and format your memory card. And I was like, what does that even mean? So he told me to do it. It said like 52 gigabytes use 52 gigabytes that's how much was it and i was like what it literally was just because i didn't have any memory to me deleting it off my camera was deleting it off my camera but i guess i'm um, not so i hit okay and then it started recording that's um great i literally have been freaking out crying for the past two hours for no reason <laughs> so uh that's lovely we love that but um, i'm just gonna be honest i probably won't even finish my conversation from this morning and i'm probably just gonna leave you on a cliffhanger i was just gonna say that i have history on mondays from like 6 to 8.50 and I'm gonna dive for it and whatever it's fine. That's the last thing I was talking about but I think I was gonna go through my whole schedule and then I didn't end up doing that obviously. But I literally have heard YouTubers say I accidentally formatted the memory card before I got something off or whatever and I don't know I just thought that whenever they said formatting they meant like deleting the footage off of it. <laughs> so we love that. I'm glad that I freaked out for nothing. I've really gone up and down the roller coaster. This morning I was super hyper. I've just gone through it today. My peach matcha was very good. I thought of so many more things to say after my camera would not work. That matcha was the most like luxurious matcha I feel like I've ever had. I think it was just because it was so thick for the mouthfeel, if that makes sense. I know that's very weird wording and it was very sweet, but it wasn't like overly sweet. Next time I make it, I will not put the honey in there with it. I don't know. I feel like I could probably, after doing that, maybe I don't even have to make the peach syrup. Maybe I could just puree peaches and then put it in with my matcha because that's basically what I did, except there was added sugar in there. But if I just added the honey, I don't know. Sorry that this like cut off really short. I feel like the video was long anyway, so I, I needed to be cut off by my camera. And yeah, so yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed this video, at least the first part of it. And if your camera ever does this, format your memory card. I'm probably the only person that doesn't know this, but I literally looked up why isn't my camera recording and nothing ever came up about formatting your memory card. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed down below. And please give this video a big thumbs up. It really means so much to me. <laughs> so I know that y'all like my peach matcha and please comment down below if you try it thank you so much for watching bye